The revitalization of communities is essential to the overall quality of life for the entire Hudson Valley. A key element to successful community development is growing and building local leaders and strong advocates to establish a clear vision and to create positive change in our communities. Hudson Valley Pattern for Progress supports local community development projects through the Community Builders Program, our Community Development Project Incubator. This program empowers participants with the tools and support they need to take community development projects to the next level. This 10-week project boot camp provides educational resources and training to research local issues, evaluate project benchmarks, identify potential sources of funding, and achieve specific project goals. The Community Builders Class of 2022 is set to begin in April, and participants with an identified project are invited to apply. As a community builder, you'll engage with the professional staff at Hudson Valley Pattern for Progress, learn from successful project managers, create collaborative partnerships within the community, and move your project to the next level. Be a part of a program that advances community-based projects, builds a local network of leaders, and inspires positive neighborhood change. Be a community builder. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. We're very excited to talk to you more about the Community Builders Program. My name is Michelle Pfeffer. I'm the Vice President for Marketing and Communication here at Pattern for Progress. Hi, I'm a research planner at Pattern for Progress. My name is Kate Stryker. I would be one of the um, co-teachers of the program. And that leaves me. Good morning, everyone. My name is Eric Pearson, also a research planner at Pattern for Progress. All right, so what is the Community Builders Program? It's a Patterns Community Development Project Incubator, uh, and it's providing participants with tools and support they need to take community development projects to the next level. Um, during the presentation, we'll go over some of the projects that have gone through the program in the past, uh, so you can get a sense for what types of projects we focus on. Um, but this program is all about helping you take that project and really move it forward to make our community a better place. Uh, the program provides participants with educational resources and training to research local issues. That's our specialty here at Pattern. Uh, we help you evaluate project benchmarks. We'll also help you uh, set short-term as well as long-term goals so that you can help break those down into bite-sized pieces. We help identify potential sources of funding. Um, and this program does align with a lot of the grant um, programs that are available throughout the year. So we'll help you identify those and also help you prepare to submit to those. Um, and then of course, the bottom line is to achieve those specific project goals so that you can really get that project uh, some momentum. And then who are the community builders? Um, when we go through the project presentations, you'll see that we have a wide variety of projects, um, but ultimately it's any community builder is dedicated to making the Hudson Valley a better place through projects that enhance the quality of life for the residents of our region. So we've had nonprofits participate, community and economic development staff, uh, municipalities and planning department staff, as well as community volunteers and advocates. Um, we also help support entrepreneurs and private entities. All right, so now I'm going to turn it over to Kate, and she will tell us more about the past projects. All right, thank you, Michelle. Um, so we've had some amazing projects come through the program, and as you will see, there's been a variety of types of projects. Some of them are site-specific, uh, but we also have had some that are more of a program. Last year, we had nine projects. Um, one was the Better Building Blocks which is a project to create housing in Newburgh that is affordable. I'm gonna speak more about this project in just a minute. We had the Goshen Green Farm, the Hudson Valley Tech Center in Highland Falls, um, the North Street Commons in Monticello, which was a project to create a public park and expanded childcare center on their main street, um, the O&W train station in Middletown, which I'm also gonna talk a little bit more about in a minute. A group from Parksville was working towards the revitalization of that community. Um, in Rockland County, we had a group working on economic development and job training, which was called Partnered for Success. In Red Hook, there was a project called Red Hook Reimagines, um, which was a really cool project to uh, convert a neglected wetland in downtown Red Hook to a public space. And in Columbia County last year, we had a project called Regenerative Real Estate. In 2016 and in 2017, 
We also had a number of great projects. I'm going to talk about a couple of these in a second as well. So I'm just going to go into a couple case studies about some of the past projects so that you get a sense of how the Community Builder Program has helped these projects move forward. In last year's program, one of the projects was the ONW train station in Middletown. If you're not familiar with it, the ONW is a historic train station that has fallen into extreme disrepair, but has a lot of potential because of its location on a main corridor, its size and its historic architecture. Um, when the program started, the, program, the project manager had an initial goal of finding a, su a suitable develop development project for the station. Their idea was to create an RFP and solicit a proposal for the site. So they had this idea, it was a little vague. Through the program, the scope of the project evolved to include a phased development plan, budget, new goals for the site. And with the refined project materials, the city actually applied for and received a grant from the Empire State Development um, for over $4 million. They got an $800,000 home grant from Orange County and they secured other funding. And now the project has secured almost $10 million and construction is um, slated to start this summer. Um, this project has obviously advanced significantly from when the project manager entered the program about a year ago until now. The next project uh, is the Building Better Blocks, which is an initiative to provide affordable housing with repurposed shipping containers um, in the city of Newburgh. The project manager um, who participated in the program last year, he worked to advance his project by clearly defining the goals and scope of his project. He conducted a community survey about housing needs. He made invaluable connections with city staff and leaders in Hudson Valley Real Estate and Affordable Housing. The project manager um, after our program went on to participate in the Equitable Access Initiative project, which is a program to provide training, mentoring and capital to emerging real estate developers. Um, he checked in with us recently and he is definitely moving this project forward. So we're really excited about um, his efforts there. In 2017, um, we had the Garner Art Center and the Garnerville Historic district. The project manager came into the program to advance the site in Rockland County as a complex for tourism, arts, and culture. If you have not been to this site, I really recommend a visit there. Um, but through the community builder program, the project goals, plans, and steps were more articulated and defined, and um, the project manager planned a charrette for the site. Um, since uh, this uh, project was in the program, the site has seen the completion of a strategic plan and they have invited in many new diverse tenants like the Hudson Mill Tavern, the Industrial Arts Brewery, a gym, a coffee roaster, among others. Um, the next program was also in 2016. This is the Ritz Theater Revitalization in Newburgh. Um, if you're not familiar with this site, the theater is part of the Safe Harbors on the Hudson, which is an incredible community resource and anchor institution right on Broadway in Newburgh. The project advanced in the community builder program with practical things like crafting a budget, informing the grant application process, and again, creating invaluable connections. Um, the theater has since been awarded three CFAs. And then the last project um, that I just wanna tell you a little bit about was also in Middletown. It's called the Middletown, it was part of the Middletown Downtown Revitalization. Um, it was in 2016, this is now a completed project. Basically, they took the old Woolworth building, which you see in the top picture there, and it was redeveloped to include retail and restaurants, and it actually has a segment of the rail trail that goes through the building. Um, in the Community Builder Program, the project manager for this project learned about funding sources, refined goals, and eventually this project became part of Middletown's Downtown Revitalization Initiative, um, and they were awarded a $10 million grant. Um, and so as you can see, we have some really wonderful projects that have come through the program and we hope that yours is next. I'm gonna pass it on to Eric who will talk a little bit about the details of the program this year and how to apply. Thank you. Thank you, Kate. Um, so yeah, now that you have a little bit of a taste of our past projects, I'm gonna go through some more detail about the content for this year's class. Um, overall, over the course of this program, 
we will help you clearly, clearly define your project scope, um, which may seem like an obvious step, but it's actually very important for setting realistic goals and setting tangible goals. Uh, you will learn how to support your project with data, um, which will cover everything from sources of data, how to access data, um, and how to use data to best represent um, what you're trying to get across with your project. Uh, you will learn about the financial aspect of projects, including creating a budget, and exploring opportunities for securing investments or securing grants. Uh, and finally, we're gonna cover how to talk about and present your project to others. So uh, you'll come out of this program with a polished presentation that can be used to simply spread the word about your project or can be tailored for a specific audience. Uh, Kate, Michelle, and myself will primarily be running and teaching these classes. Uh, we collectively have training and experience in planning, economic development, community development, uh, but also along the way, we're gonna bring in a number of guest speakers um, that are experts in their field to talk on certain topics. So you'll have the opportunity to, to learn from um, and, and make connections with some very talented and helpful people along the way, okay? So this is a more detailed look at the sort of logistics and the schedule of the class to give you an idea of the flow of the topics. Um, the class topics may be slightly altered from what you see here based on the types of projects that we get this year. We, we want to make sure it's, it's most relevant for, for who's coming through the program. Um, but for the most part, these are sort of the high level topics that we will be covering. Um, the format of the program is a two hour class from four to six every Monday. Uh, the classes will start in April of this year and run for 10 weeks into June. Um, this is a virtual class, uh, so it'll take place over Zoom. And um, the big benefit that obviously it offers is not having to travel to class every week. Um, tuition is gonna be $1,500 per project. Uh, typically it's been one person per project, but we have had some successful two person teams come through the program. So that, that's an option as well. So the application um, window is open. Uh, we encourage everyone here to apply at your earliest convenience. The application itself is, is very painless. Um, we essentially just wanna know the basic information about what your project is, what your goals are, and where you are in the process. So the application can be found at patternforprogress.org slash community builders. I think I just saw that Michelle shared a link to that in the chat as well. And we'll also follow up with, um, yeah, an email with a link to this information um, after this uh, presentation is over. So as I said, the application window is, is now open. Um, we'll be closing it on March 1st. So you have the remainder of this month to submit your application. We encourage you to get your applications in sooner rather than later, um, because part of the process is once you submit your application, we will schedule an, an interview with you so we can learn more about your project, um, on a, like in a sort of one-on-one -on -one setting with you and get a better assessment of um, whether your project is a good fit for this program and, and whether you think this program is a good fit for you as well. Um, by March 14th, we are going to let everyone know which projects have been selected. And then we're gonna hit the ground running with the classes on, on April 4th. All right, so that concludes the presentation for today's info session. Uh, hey, everybody. I'm, I'm Adam Bosch. I'm the new president and CEO of Hudson Valley Pattern for Progress. I just wanted to hop on real quick and say hello and just talk about how excited I am for this particular program that Pattern does. You know, it's been my experience that one of the things we're fortunate to have here in the Hudson Valley is a lot of people who have passion projects, who are passionate about community redevelopment and really want to see projects that not only get through the conceptual stage, but actually get implemented on the ground in their neighborhoods. And sometimes, you know, it's just one piece of that puzzle that is missing, whether it's, you know, finding the right funding source or, you know, finding the right communication package to get it in front of the folks who have the passion and authority to make the decisions on going forward with your project. So one of the things I really like about this program and that I think you'll benefit from is it really hits all those different points along the way uh, that will help you not only conceive the project, plan the project, find the money for the project, but also deliver it. So, you know, I think, I think you all will find that helpful. And I think the case is that for everyone, we will hit one note in the tune that you may not know. You may know nine out of 10 or eight out of 10, 
but those other two are really important as well. So looking forward to seeing the applications, looking forward to working with all of you. And as Michelle, Eric, and Kate said, any questions, feel free to ask. We're here to help. We're here, we're, we're here to help you with, uh, with your ideas, to get them from ideas to reality. So thank you, guys. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Again, please visit the website at the patternforprogress.org forward slash community builders. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. You can reach us at um, my email address that I posted in the chat there. Um, and we look forward to seeing this next class of community builders and um, working with you guys in the future. So thank you so much. Hope you all have a great day.